Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my March empties. Wow. Doesn't seem possible that we are already done with March, first quarter of the year. Gosh, where does time time go? And of course, April 1st today it was cold and sunny, but now it's going to be um, rainy. So what do they say? April showers bring May flowers. Anyway, so our Oklahoma weather is is totally off kelter. We hardly have any type of winter during the winter months. And then when it comes early spring, then that's when we start having our cold and icky weather. And then we go straight from that right into tornado season. So anyway. Okay, so let's start with some shampoo. I have a shampoo from Kerastase. This is the Color Riche, and it is for color-treated hair. I do like it. I like the shampoo, but I don't like the conditioner that's in this line. But the shampoo is really good. It's very gentle um, for your color-treated hair. Um, I won't be repurchasing it, though, because I have found in the Kerastase line a one that I like that's for formulated for natural curly hair which is what I have so I like it better but this is a good shampoo and um, this is probably maybe like the third one that I've had so good shampoo and I, I usually find that at um, TJ Maxx so it's so a little bit cheaper um, a product here from NARS this is the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I didn't care for this. It didn't feel like it worked as well as my Too Faced um, Glitter Glue that I like to use even though I'm not using glitter or pressed pigments. I just feel that that eyeshadow base works really well for all eyeshadows so I won't be repurchasing that. Oh, this little guy. I was so sad when this is gone. Hmm. And I really tried to savor this and make and make it last, but it was the Joe Malone Red Roses. Oh, it smells so good. Still smells good. Oh, I hate to get rid of it, but it's gone. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing that. Just um, probably not this year. Probably next year. Anyway, because I have some other perfumes I need to use up. Then I have a deodorant from Degree. Um, this is one of the clinical strength deodorants. Um, I can't do a natural deodorant. I have to have some full strength work like it's working on a man type deodorant. <laughs> but anyway, I think I like the Dove or the Dove? No, the Suave one better anyway. But that was on sale. So I usually just get whichever one I can get that's on sale because it's cheaper that way. Well, duh, if it's on sale, it's going to be cheaper. Okay, here's a product that I really do like and will be repurchasing once I get down a little bit more on my mascaras. And this is from Laura Mercier. Um, it is in the color black, but I cannot tell you for the life of me what one it is because I can't see it on the bottom. I even tried putting my little readers on to try and see what it says and I still can't see it. So I'm going to have to look online to see if I can um, recognize the tube. And hopefully it's not one that's discontinued. And that would be, still be able to get. But I do like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's talk about this guy. This is from Dior. This is the Dior um, Maximizer 3D. It is an eyelash um, base that you put on before your mascara one of those little white things I mean this is good I'm not gonna it is it's a good product but L'Oreal has come out with one that works just as good if not better and it's a fraction of the cost of this so get the one from L'Oreal and get it at Walmart because it's like $5.89 at Walmart and at Walgreens CVS Ulta it's always around eight almost nine dollars so even when those are on sale you can still get it at Walmart cheaper so even though we probably don't really like going to Walmart it's cheaper there so um, a product from Drunk Elephant this is the glycolic serum and um, the TLC Fambrus glycolic night serum 
and I really do like this. I have a full size of it. I've already finished a full size and then I use this small size and then I have another full size to go through. Um, I really do enjoy using it. I'm using some other guy clock products right now and once those are gone then I'll go back to using my drunk elephant unless the ordinary comes out with a glycolic serum then I may try that but right now they don't have a glycolic serum not that I'm aware of anyway um, doo -doo -doo. this I got in the mail from Curel It's one of those products that they sent to everybody's uh, mailbox to try it's a hydrotherapy wet skin moist moisturizer and basically you just put this on after you get out of the shower you kind of uh, before you towel off and it was okay I did finish the whole thing which does tell you something because I don't like lotions I don't like lotions on my skin but this wasn't too bad not too bad but I don't think I would run out and purchase it though anyway so I did use it I liked it I guess because I used it but anyway, I like my, my in shower oil from, I can't, what is the name, what is the brand of that? I can see it, I just talked about it in the favorites. Anyway, I like it better. Then I have my makeup wipes from I get from Big Lots. They're the Apple brand. Buy them all the time. I have another little makeup wipe. This was the LA Fresh Travel Light Makeup Remover Wipe. This was in the hotel from our last little weekend out. They're okay. You know, I don't, it's really hard to travel with a package of makeup wipes because if you're just going away for a weekend, you don't want to take your whole big pack. So I do appreciate it when the hotels put these in there for you to use because I, you know, most of the hotels have white washcloths and I hate to use their washcloths to take my makeup off because it messes them up. I know it does, but anyway, so when they have those, I do try to use those and utilize them so that I don't mess up their washcloths. I did use up a little Tatcha um, Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. It's just a little moisturizer that was in one of the little travel or the sampler packs that I had gotten during the holidays. Um, it was okay for a daytime moisturizer. Um, not enough moisturizer moisturization for me at night and for the price of it there's just so many other moisturizers out there that are a lot less expensive than this so wouldn't purchase go out and purchase the big size and um, the Ola Henriksen three-step um, power peel I did finish one of those that um, comes with the almond polish and then you do a lemon strip and then you have a, a chamomile comfort that goes on over that um, wonderful these are really good to use about once a week um, I just have so much other stuff that I try to incorporate that I usually only end up using these about once a month and I need to use them more I have several that I need to use up before they go bad anyway those might end up in my project pan okay then let's talk about some some sheet mask I have some products that I don't like and I'm gonna save those for the very end so this product is one of the products that I do like and it's the Shiseido bio performance super exfoliating disc and it's just a little round white cushiony disc that you add water to it and it foams up and then you cleanse your skin with it and it's very exfoliating but gentle it has um, rice powders in it so it's very gentle exfoliation and I do like those I found them at Marshall's on clearance so if you can look for them there you might be able to find them at a really good price so anyway <laughs> oh lord now I have to tell next I have a sheet mask that I really have enjoyed I got this for my friend Annie and it's from Mediheal and it's the NMF aqua ring ampule mask it was very moisturizing it was a good fit it wasn't drippy it wasn't sticky and I I tell you after you do a mask your face will look so much better and if you're consistent with it you will definitely see some good results from sheet masking 
Another one I used was from Leaders, and this is the white dressing. Another good one you can find you blah blah blah. Hot look, they'll be on Hot Look quite a bit. So you can look for them there on Hot Look. Then I had the Skin Factory I2PL White Mela X Ampule Mask. That was a good one. And then these two here are from the Forever Young line. I have the Glowing Orange and the Brightening Lemon. And I got both of these at um, Marshalls. You can find them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask. I used that one and I did enjoy that one. Okay, for some products that I didn't care for that I'm going to be either tossing or not ever repurchase again. One of them is this here. This is the Clean Feet Exfoliating Foot Treatment Mask. I found this at Marshalls. It did nothing. It was no type of exfoliation whatsoever. Did not see any results. Um, it was a waste of time actually because you had to leave it on for like 45 minutes. Then I have two of the Marc um, Jacobs Gel um, Eyeliners. These have just dried out. Um, so, gosh, if you buy these, just make sure that you're using them consistently before they dry out because once they dry out, they're done. And I really do like those because they stay in the tight line. Okay, I'm back. My camera, how rudely, cut me off. I ran out of battery. I was trying to hurry, but I went quick enough. And I'm probably not sitting in the exact same spot that I was either, so sorry about that. Um, okay, another product that I did not finish, but I'm getting rid of and won't repurchase. Probably couldn't even if I wanted to because this was on the um, sale page of Sephora. And I bought this quite some time ago. And I've just been holding on to it, getting ready to use it. But it's the uh, Sephora Luminous Foundation Primer this it just didn't do anything and it didn't work very well with any of the foundations that I tried with it so I'm tossing it another product that I didn't finish but I'm tossing because I don't really care for it is the Revlon photo ready airbrush effect um, foundation in the color number one ivory I probably finished about half of this and I was really going to work through this and you know use it up but I thought I'm not going to waste my time using a product all over my face and not like in the way that it looks throughout the day or by time the day is over um, because it's really oxidized on me so I'm just getting rid of it um, it's going in the trash it's just not worth my time on using it and this is another one it's the L'Oreal infallible pro matte and number 101 classic ivory again because it being the matte is I just can't do it um, I like more of a luminous dewy look to my skin and this definitely made me look flat and dry I just didn't like it so I'm gonna get rid of it another product that I won't never repurchase is the um, dirty mermaid beauty bath salts and because I had pieces of rose in them I thought that's why I ordered it because it was supposed to be a rose one but I didn't realize it was gonna have pieces of rose in there and I don't like anything that floats around in the water so I definitely won't be repurchasing those and from that same order I ordered the citrus sea soap dead sea salts with organic seaweed another bath soak and this guy here I think was worse than the rose one because the rose one once I let it sit in the water for a while I was able to go through and kind of scoop out the rose pieces and throw them in the trash and then I was okay you know being in the bath you know in the water but this let me get some out okay you see you see that right there that little piece it's not on my finger right there we go right there there's still quite a bit of it left here in the package and there was a whole lot more that's left in my bath water but what that is is dried um, seaweed and it never dissolved it just floated around in the tub and it was a pain in the butt to get it all rinsed out of the tub too so I definitely won't be repurchasing those I have two more of each of those and I don't even know if I'm going to use them or not because I, I didn't like them that much so 
anyway so that is it for my empties I hope that you enjoyed um, my next video I think I'm going to be doing is going to be a project pan because I have some empties from it plus I have some products in that project pan that I've decided that I'm going to um, take out of the project pan and, and get rid of because I don't like them and I said that at the beginning of my project pan this year that if it's a product after I've used it for a while and I just absolutely don't care for or it's just not working I'm not going to force myself to go through the whole year and try to use it up just for the sake of using it and saying that I used it like I did last year with a couple products so anyway that will be coming up next um, possibly on Thursday so be looking for that better yet um, subscribe and then click on the little bell icon so that way you're notified of any future videos that I put up and that way you don't miss out so thank you so much for um, giving me a thumbs up and for being here today and taking the time to sit down and visit with me I do appreciate it very much I love getting ready um, the opportunity to talk with you guys because um, this is my girl time I don't get girl time I work um, in an environment that is 98% men so this is this is my girl time right here and I, I appreciate you guys being here and visiting with me very much so anyway rambling outros are the hardest ever of YouTube <laughs>